Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. So today I will show you 5 tips in Affinity Photo to be more precise in developer persona that might be helpful for you. It's been a month since my last 5 tips video and today I will show you 5 more tips in Affinity Photo that you didn't know about. But if you already did, that's cool. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first tip is resetting your edits. I believe you already know about this reset button on the right side of adjustment. When you click on it, it will reset all of these settings. Okay, but maybe you have done a lot of adjustments like this photo and you just want to reset a couple of things like uh, you just want to reset this black point and clarity. So instead of having to slide this slider back to zero or type zero, Okay, so all you have to do is double click on this slider and it will go back to zero and it will save most of your time. Easy, right? Before and after. This is a very useful feature, but something that a lot of people don't use enough. Okay. So you can use the comparison view after you have edited a photo to check the before and after. So we have three options here, single view, split view, and mirror view. And the shortcut to the next view is by clicking comma. So while you are editing, you can see the original photo to what it is now. To see maybe you have gone a little too far or need to go a little further, all you have to do is by clicking comma. Okay, so that was before and after. And next we have this sing before, after, and swap. So when I first try to click on this button, I don't know what is the function. Look here, when I click sing after, the function is like resetting the whole adjustments. And when I click sing before, it does nothing. Okay. So what this button do? Okay. Click this mirror view and try to click sing before so uh, when you click this sing before it's gonna sing after to before okay and when you click sing after it's gonna sing before to after and swap okay so when do I use this button it doesn't look so useful so I'm gonna give you an example here Let's say that you have edited a photo, this photo, and you like the result, but you want to try a different settings and compare it to see which one is better. Okay, so you can either click sync to before or swap. And now you can try to adjust the different settings. So after we have done some adjustments, now you can compare these two different adjustments to see which one is better. If you like the before and you don't like the after, you can click sync after. Okay. So uh, it will sync before to after. It's pretty useful, right? Okay, so this is another useful feature. On the top right side, you will see these three buttons. Okay, 
click on it at first you might notice nothing but try to adjust the exposure and you will see those red clippings okay so sometimes our eyes just can't differentiate something that is over or not you might think that your photo looks fine but when you click show clipping it's gonna show you where the photo is clipping okay i use this a lot okay so red means highlights and blue means shadow and we have these tones yellow color uh, means both highlights and shadows last tip so on the left side you will see this white balance tool click on it and usually pick the whitest color on the photo okay and it will automatically set the white balance depending on the color you pick so uh, this is a very useful tool for beginners if you don't know what to do with the white balance you can just use this tool and pick the widest color on the photo okay so that's it for me today i hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video oh yeah and by the way i'm coming up with a bunch of affinity photo preset for you guys so stay tuned for that it's gonna take a while because this is my first preset package and i want it to be awesome hit that like button if you like this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video